recommend this. Very mother of God. How'd you burn the house down, Lay? I thought I could cook, because Gusto said that anyone can cook, and I believed him, the fucking liar. Clearly, I fucking can. <laughs> to Lay's motherfucking kitchen. So before we start, yes, my kitchen is not state of the art. It's a piece of shit. Kind of came like that because I'm fucking poor. So today I'm gonna teach you guys how to cook potatoes. I don't know why I keep showing you guys how to cook shit because I mean, not only are y'all gonna get like overdose on fucking sodium today, but pretty much you'll learn how not to cook potatoes because I'm probably gonna burn it or get it everywhere <laughs> or it's gonna taste like shit, you know? Whatever. I, I just, I just just do it anyway because why not? Oh my god, it seems like shit in here. Ew, ew, nasty as fuck. That'll do it. So step one is to pick out your potatoes. So it, it's not that hard. Just just grab two potatoes out of the fucking sack. Step two is to wash them or like just run water on them so it's like wet. The next step, because I like my potatoes like I like my men. Naked. Alright, now that your potatoes are naked. I mean, the next step, obviously, <laughs> Bitch, shut the fuck up. Always interrupting me. So I would recommend grabbing the biggest knife possible because safety, you know, common sense. Next would be to wave around like it was fucking pinata. Also, I mean, one really good step when you're cooking, you know, when you're about to be using sharp objects around your phalanges is to be fucking exhausted. That's probably the greatest tip that I can give you. So just make sure that, you know, you're living off of like zero hours of sleep. The best time to cook is when you just pulled an all night let us carry on. Why do I feel like this is gonna end in me going to the hospital? All right, so how I cook my <laughs> bits because you're cooking. How I chop my potatoes on my dirty ass ghetto cutting board. So first, you split it in half. And then, you do the same thing on the halves. And then, you do the same thing on the halves of the halves. And then you pull a Jeffrey Dahmer and cut these fuckers up like dead bodies. Make sure to keep your fucking fingers out of it. Unless you have giant ass nails which can save your fingers. You know, safety. This is why I have them, it's for safety, not vanity. I'm responsible. Yeah, the best way to hold it is like this. You see? I mean, you can still chop your thumb off, but <laughs> you don't need your thumb. I mean, dogs and cats don't have opposable thumbs, so, like, why don't we need thumbs? Like, we don't. And what you do when you're cutting is you're going like this. You're caressing the potato as if it were a woman, you know? And if you're doing this around people and you're trying to impress them, I advise you not to go fast, that's what she said. Because if you're anything like me, it'll end in you going to the hospital. It just always seems to happen. I don't really know why, like, I don't get it. And do the same on your other petite potato. And then next, you get your pan nice and greased up like the ass of a porn star. And you massage it all up in the pan. Don't turn the pan on first, though. Make sure that it's offed. Make sure that it's offed. Bitch, you are dumber than a box of rocks, I swear to God. Make sure that it's off when you caress it. Because, you see, you're trying to warm up to the pan. You're trying to sweet talk it so that you can do your business in it. Like a five dollar whore, that's what you gotta do. And once you're finished with her, wash off your hands, cause that shit's nasty. We all know. This is gonna be dangerous as fuck. Now that your potatoes are looking like Hannibal Lecter's dinner, we're now gonna put it in the pan. I don't really give a shit about what temperature it's on, you know? You probably should, but I normally put it on like medium-ish. 
because I'm a very impatient person, so I like that shit cooking fast as fuck. That doesn't normally mean quality, because normally it's not quality, but like it ends up tasting good, like anyway, unless I just have singed off my taste buds by now, and I just wouldn't know the difference anyway. Ooh, let's just uh, do this. And you see how the oil's separating like saggy old breasts? This is how you know it's ready for the potatoes. So what you do is put the knife down. Put the knife down. And use your fucking hands. Normally I would use a normal shaped pan because it makes life a lot easier and the potatoes wouldn't go over the edge. But because my middle name is unorthodox, I don't give a fuck and I'm using this because it fits more, so. And I just used the uh, nearest utensil to um, manipulate the vegetable. Now that they're all settled, what I'm gonna do is have a spatula handy. And yes, this is a baby spatula, all right? I just feel more comfortable using it. I'm just kidding, I don't have a normal size spatula because I don't have anything fucking normal in this house, including myself. Anyway, now that they're settled, we're gonna go into the spice cabinet. And yes, I'm actually gonna use spices. I know, like normally this is weird for me. As a white person, I literally had no idea what this was, you know? I know, I know. It's shocking. Believe it or not, some white people actually use seasoning. Like, it's crazy. You learn stuff every day. We're a very unique breed, so cherish that. So I'm gonna put salt and pepper on my potatoes. And normally I put enough to clog arteries. That's just about how much I put in there. Next, I'm gonna grind this shit like a dude's dick in the club. And now that that is seasoned, we are going to wait a few minutes until the other side starts to brown and orange and crisp and possibly burn. Then we will go in and we will flip it with the spatula and it'll do the same to the other side and we'll pray for the best. And if in any case the potatoes look drier than my phone, I just put in a little bit more of olive oil. Bitch! Miss me with that. I think it is time to flip it. Look at that orangeness, oh my god. Debbie, did you see this? It's orange, just like the sunrise. And because I'm a fucking dunce, and I didn't use a normal pan, as I said, I have to use a sharp object because that makes more sense than to use like a fork or something. And I'm just gonna use that and I'm gonna flip it like I flip my bitch when I want the other side. And to make sure that your blood pressure is nice and high, add more salt. This recipe is not for the faint of heart. Probably should be a warning on this. And at this point, any normal person would look at it and be like, wow, this looks like the temperature's too high. But I'm lay, and I don't play that shit, so I'm gonna leave it this high and hope for the best. Okay, I'm caving. Turn it down just a tad so that they won't be fucking raw when you eat them. And flip it again. If you'd like to go into cardiac arrest at 19 years old, just add a little bit more salt like I usually do. Because health is not my priority. I don't even know what my priorities are. Why would I? You couldn't have made it that way. Oh, that's dirty. Like me. And at this point, when they look nice and fucking burnt, what I usually do, normally I stick a fork in them to see how soft they are. If they're not soft enough, I won't eat them. You know what I'm talking about. You see that innuendo, that two-way street. And since they're all so screaming and they're soft, then I know that they're just right. on fire tonight. Dirty jokes galore. Yeah, they're ready because they're soft as fuck. Turn off the flame so you don't burn yourself. And then get an aesthetically pleasing plate because we're on YouTube and I need to look good even though everything else looks like shit including myself. So what I do, show you put a nice beautiful plate right here, yes? Run your hands all over it to make sure it's nice and healthy. And then the next thing I do is I normally put word that I can't remember. What is this called? A paper towel, there you go. Papier. I put it down, yes, and then I just dump these fuckers onto it. Oh no. Why do I do that, you may ask? Well, if I were to suffer from one health problem from this meal, I would rather be clogged arteries than a slowed down digestion. Sure, what I'm doing here is I'm dabbing that bitch. 
So I'm dabbing the grease off because that's just gonna make it healthy. If you're worried about it not being healthy, just do this and it'll be 100% healthy. I guarantee it. So, oh, fucking dicks. So then from there, you just pour it all onto this bitch and fuck those. And there you have it. A greasy ass plate of my family's potatoes. My grandma taught me this recipe, which is why it involves so much fucking salt. I mean, I learned this from a woman who pours salt on apples and eats them. I will never know why. But anyway, I do hope you enjoy because my taste buds will, but my arteries won't. But you know, who, who the fuck cares, right? Okay, so maybe I taught you one good thing today because these taste like fucking heaven. Anyway, I will see you in the next video. Sorry, I'm eating with my mouth open. I'm doing one of my own pet peeves, but I hope you enjoy the potatoes. And if you start feeling chest pains, I would dial 911. Besides that, enjoy, and I'll see you next time.